I remember being sat in the lecture hall thinking, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I just feel really stupid. I don't understand what people are telling me. Maybe um, I've had too many hits in my head in American football. I just didn't understand literally anything as far as what was happening when I was at university, as far as the work I was doing. And I remember them being in a workshop and the teacher said to me, the first time anybody's ever said it to me, I think you have dyslexia. At this point, I'm thinking dyslexia, I can't even spell it. What are you about? <laughs> what are you laughing for? <laughs> I was like, no miss, I don't have dyslexia. You, you must be wrong. You know when you've got a, like, um, a cough and a bad head then you type your symptoms in on Google and it basically gives you 24 hours to live? I basically did that with dyslexia. I still didn't understand it, so I dismissed it. The person who was testing me said, uh, Cameron, you heavily dyslexic and I also think you have ADD so you might have to check up on that. And I thought to myself, I'm stupid, I can't do university, I'm going to drop out and I literally thought there was no point because I thought dyslexia defined me as a person and especially my intelligence which of course isn't the truth. So for about six months I really struggled for it. I had conversations with other lecturers saying I want to drop out. I gave a different excuse but deep down I knew it was because I had dyslexia. When I started to look into um, people who had dyslexia, you had people like Will Smith, you had Richard Branson, you had Albert Einstein. So I thought to myself, okay, um, they got dyslexia and they're just doing just fine. So maybe, just maybe, it doesn't limit me. So I just started working hard a little bit. I just started to change my focus. And I asked you straight away, what was your number one biggest challenge you got? And all I'm asking for now is potentially understand what you need to do, the plan and the direction you need to have in place to overcome whether it's that big challenge or whether it's two or three. And once you understand that it is actually possible that you can get the grades you want, you can go and get the jobs you want, you can go to the places you want, then these things are actually possible. So the reason why I asked you to put that challenge down, that was for a reason. Now we need to start creating goals and a plan around it to overcome our biggest challenges so we can start moving forward.